Y pues todo normal. Oh, what is going to happen now? What is happening? Nadie me what is quiso happening? acompañar. What's up everybody, Steven Zekiel here bringing another reaction to some more creepy ghost videos. Now this one's an interesting one, this one was recommended to me a few times and uh, this is one that came out back in November, another one that came out in November. Five ghost videos I need to apologize for, by Nukes Top 5 of course, go show your support to the original channel, all that good shit. Uh, seriously, thank you guys for watching these. These have been super uh, fun to do, and of course, I like to do a huge bulk session. That's why the last couple ones probably seen me wear the same shirt. But you know what? That's fine. And if you guys have more suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know below, uh, not below. Let me know also on my Discord where you can react, recommend there uh, in the reaction idea section. So if you guys want, please do that. Also, for you guys are, uh, who are fans of me and want to check out more of the content I do, and just in general, if you guys are interested in anything gaming related, not only do I do some streams here and there on YouTube gaming related, but I do a lot more gaming stuff on my, uh, my Twitch side. So guys, definitely follow me on my Twitch. Link in the description, of course. Uh, but either way, we are still on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And I know we can do it based off of this right here, showing 77% of you guys watching are not subscribed. Now, if that's the case, that is 100% fine for right now because there's two reasons why you're not subscribed. One, you're brand new to the channel. You've never seen one of my videos before, if that's the case. Welcome to the channel. How you doing? Thank you for clicking on one of my videos today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. Check out some more. And hopefully, hit that subscribe button today. The other portion are returning viewers. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on another one of my videos. And hopefully, this is the one that you hit that subscribe button today. All right. Once again, we are on our way to 100k, so definitely help me out with that. And uh, yeah, we're going to check out this top 10. This is a lengthy video, as you're going to see. This is going to be a 30 minute one. So I am premiering this. If you guys do not want to miss out on a premiere video, definitely hit that like, definitely hit that notification bell, and also subscribe. Do all that good shit. Follow me anywhere and everywhere. All this stuff down below, once again, so you don't miss out on premieres. Because uh, it's always fun to talk to you chat uh, as the, the video goes live and Also, I give you guys questions and you guys can answer them live and I can read them and whatnot hang out with you guys while this premieres So much appreciate again to everybody who's been supporting these and let's get into this and enjoy it right wait right now <laughs> Also, if there's any ads, I'll try to cut them out. Top five again. ghosts. I hope on I can camera. remember them all. Shadow of Doubt. Ghost Hunter David Brantley from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. That mustache, though. Goes to investigate a local church in Chester, South Carolina, along with his nephew, Eli. The church was built in the late 1800s, and David says that in the early 1900s, ritualistic ceremonies were held on church grounds. He says that many of the people who attend the church claim to have witnessed strange shadow figures and objects moving around on their own. As David and his nephew Eli Churches are exploring are the dark rooms and hallways of the creepy building. Like, that's probably the one type of location I would not want to be is at churches. Like, I don't mind cemeteries, I don't mind hospitals, I don't mind that stuff. I don't know, it's, to me, one of the places I would not want to go for a creepy ghost experience is a church. That is one that I do not want to do. I'm okay with a lot of other things like abandoned prisons, uh, hospitals, creepy shit like that. I'm all for churches. Fuck nah. They begin to ask any supernatural being or entity that might be present to give them a sign. To their surprise, something. Here's a comment question for you guys in the comment down below or in the chat right now. Let me know. What is one location? If you had to go to a ghost location, no matter what. And you're forced to go. What is one that you'd be okay with? And what is another one that you would absolutely 
do not want to go to, you have to let me know. One you are willing to go to, and one you're not. Like, absolutely, you would rather jump off a cliff than go there. Me, kind of a church, I would say. Seems to respond. If there's a presence here, could you make yourself known? Is the chair gonna move? Oh, piano sound. Dude. Bruh. Oh. Random creepy moan and a close up on your face, buddy? Uh. What? Some damn. Big ass rat, so I don't know. You got a knife, right? Uh, <laughs> He's asking his son, do you have a knife, right? <laughs> just check everywhere. Old Old places creep not play pianos. <laughs> Plus if it was a rat, you don't you think you'd hear more than one note? David and Eli Just are say. shocked when they hear the sound of the piano coming from the main hall in the church. They immediately go to check the piano, but no one there. They ask the spirit to give them a sign and play the piano again. Come on, just play the piano one more time for me. Uh. What the f was that? Dude. This time they hear the creaking of a door and when they go to check it out, they find that a small storage closet has opened on its own. Also, even though they don't notice it at the time, a chair they filmed earlier has now turned around without explanation. Right, David and Eli decide to sit in the back of the main hall to keep an eye on the Nothing piano. Like That's when they capture attention. something downright chilling. The thing about ghost stuff, paranormal stuff, sounds from afar can be kind of faked. That's why I need to see something. You used to play piano here? We would love I just fucking jinxed it. I saw that. I saw that over there. I saw you peeking over there. I hear you play again. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Without noticing it, they capture something peeking out at them from a room at the front of the church. Not once but twice. Oh, David twice. says that he was completely unaware of the shadow figure until he looked back at his footage later. As the two guys head into the back room to investigate the same location where they captured the peeking figure, they hear some strange oh, noises. So there's the sun. Okay. And without even knowing, they capture this. The sound Did you see it? As they pan across the room with their camera, some dark shape seems to be standing near the back of the room, just oh, watching them. Okay. Now David didn't even mention this capture and it wasn't reported in the video comments. I just happened to notice this figure while I was closely watching the video for this week's top five. So did they capture real paranormal activity in the church? Oh, they remember to remove the or is it just but, uh, an elaborate hoax? You decide. They've not actually pointed out themselves. But if the video is a hoax, my fucking tattoo is why not mention <laughs> the creepy shadow figure in the back of the church? Whoops. Green tattoo doesn't Let work on a green screen. Think. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught some for right. Facebook user Mario Lara was very excited when he opened his very own party and event store in Guadalajara, Mexico. However, Soon after moving in, strange events started to take place inside the store. Mario claims that one of the okay. piñata dolls that they sell at the store frequently falls over and even seems to move on its own. After continuous well, unexplained good. activity, Mario decides oh to lock God, the piñata in the store's piñatas. restroom and broadcast it live on Facebook. Hey. 
Esa piñata que tenemos Piñata ahí, can look a little on the creepy es side. la que sospechosa, la verdad es que no sabemos si de verdad sea sea dia, este, este diabólica If o qué onda. <laughs> Pero esa piñata siempre amanece tirada. Es lo que es raro. Pero lo raro es de que otra vez hoy burn it. Tirada, If it's possessed, burn it. Porque esta piñata yo la dejé parada. Burn it with fire. And then put the ashes down la the toilet and flush. Te voy a levantar. La dejé así. Yo la dejé así. Y la dejé encerrada. Also, if it's just falling over, like he said, then. Pues yo la dejo así. What if it's just not balanced right? La dejo así. If you didn't y, make it correctly. Y, y, o sea, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, siempre que la hemos dejado acá. Eh, hey, look este, at that nasty ass looking Pikachu. Sale y vuelve. Fugly looking Pikachu. Y vuelve a aparecer. Eh, siempre tirada. After leaving the piñata in the restroom for a while, he returns to check up on it. Mira, vamos a... Vamos a ver las... las... Oh, hijo de su... <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Burn it with fire! It's a piñata, it's tío. just paper. Burn it. Ay, ay, mi corazón. <laughs> or put it on sale for 80% off. Leave it, let este... someone else deal with that shit. <laughs> piel, He still makes the money off chinita. of it. Piel chinita. Just as he claims on his Facebook, the piñata falls to the restroom floor. Now, of course, this could simply be gravity at work, and it's certainly not evidence of anything supernatural. But then things start to get truly bizarre. Late one night, Mario receives an alert from one of the store's security cameras that movement has been detected inside the store. Fearing an intruder, he immediately checks the CCTV footage. He is shocked by what he finds. It's a really creepy eyeball. What the fuck? <laughs> Talk about spin the wind. <laughs> One of the piñatas that's hanging from the ceiling suddenly starts to move and then just violently spins out of control, before finally slowing to a halt. Cut to another day at the store, and security footage shows one of Mario's workers busy stocking the shelves, when something very odd happens. Is this one going to start spinning out of nowhere now? A pack of plastic trays is launched off a shelf towards the worker, sending her screaming and running in fear. So I'm assuming, because there's only one reason, like, to be honest, yeah, that'd be freaky, but I wouldn't have ran that fast. This might not have been the first encounter this uh, worker has experienced, and she's had enough. Another night, and Mario receives a late alert from his security cameras that, once again, there is movement in his store. When he checks the CCTV footage, he finds something truly terrifying. What's gonna happen this time? Okay, that's a lot of shadows. What the fuck? Oh, hell no! No, burn the store! Burn the store! What the fuck was that? Look at that motherfucker! <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's so freaky! As it just slowly rises up, like the darkness, the shadows, and then boom. Hey, how you doing? And the eyes! Oh, he's looking right at the fucking camera! If you see something like that, you don't go back. You sell. You sell the place. Or burn it down. Something. 
It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it. <laughs> uh... Mario says on Facebook that after watching the footage, he quote, wishes he had it. The horrifying skull-like face of something seems to rise up from under the pile of pinata stored in the middle but of the, the store. But the creepiest thing of it all is there's no movement from the pinatas themselves. There's no movement. He's phasing through it. It doesn't look like there's room for a person to be fit in there and raise up without disturbing the other things. Or Mario is shocked to his core. Cut to two days later, and in the middle of the night, Mario gets yet another security alert. Again, something is in his store. Something no. moving. But this time, the CCTV camera footage doesn't reveal anything. So, Mario decides to go to his store to check it out in person. He broadcasts the entire thing live on Facebook as he investigates. Did you bring a gun? It did not go well. I wouldn't be going back to that place without a fucking something. The gun won't help you with ghosts too much, but it, it makes me feel better. Oh, that's never a good sign when your lights are not working. Oh, he's streaming it. Okay. Pues bueno, este. Nah, nah. Those those pinatas are creepy as fuck. That fucking figure from the other days? No, no, I wouldn't come back. I would not come back. Voy a apagar la la luz y a y a irnos. Ah, do not like this. Yeah. Wait, he said turn off the lights, but the lights were not even on. Uy, se escuchó un ruido por allá. This is never a good thing. And there's lag and everything. Oh, there's that creepy pinata bitch. There she is. The one that might be possessed. Oh, what is going to happen now? What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Unlike okay. Mario's previous live broadcast, this time his stream is glitching and lagging severely. He hears an odd sound coming from somewhere inside the store, and when he looks up, he is horrified. Oh my god, What the appears eyes. to be the same figure he captured on CCTV only two days earlier seems to be hiding in the shadows in the rafters of his store, staring oh my down god. at him. That's Mario not even makes what I a saw. run for it, and I soon saw. after. Wait, I didn't even see the right thing. I was, I was to be the misled. same figure he captured on CCTV only two days earlier. Seems to be hiding in the shadow. I didn't see that. I saw something else. Shadows in the rafters of his store, staring down at him. Mario makes a. I saw this. I thought that was the. Oh, it's even worse. I saw this and I saw the two eyes. I thought that was it. But nope, there's that creepy motherfucker right there. Said, "Hey, how you doing? I, 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 how you doing? I want the store." Run for it, and Have soon store. after, just turns off his Facebook Live midstream. After this last terrifying encounter, Mario has decided to take a little break. <laughs> He's now on vacation, far away from his store. So is I'm Mario sorry, Lara's store uh, haunted by some dark and sinister spirit? Or I think if it's after hours. If someone's willing to go into that store and steal shit and get their souls eaten out of their asshole, 
By all means, let them. But um, I would not be going back to that store at night at any point. <laughs> or is it all just an elaborate hoax? It, it, if I own a store, I have insurance. If something goes missing, somebody goes in there and steals, by all means, I ain't going back to that store at night. Fuck nah. I'll just claim insurance. You decide. Unclean. This next video was suggested to me by a viewer. It's very short, but it definitely gave me the creeps. Adi <laughs> from the YouTube channel Obsolete Oddity says that one of his friends got offered a very strange job. Basically, he was offered a large sum of money to clean out the house of a messy man who had passed away under very strange circumstances. But it gets weirder, because the man who passed away in the house claimed that demons haunted the home and that these evil spirits taunted him constantly. Now this could all simply be dismissed as the ravings of an unstable mind, but the house does have a haunted history and several of the previous tenants have also passed away under bizarre circumstances. Adi says that his friend got the job cleaning out the residence primarily because no one else would do it. So out of curiosity, Adi asks his friend to one, how messy is this house? And two, how creepy is this house? Film inside the house. This motherfucker better be being paid a good amount depending on what the outcome of this house looks like. House. It did not go well. Dear God, mother of crab battle. Is this Ryan's house? <laughs> Ryan, clean up your room. Ongoing joke. I will never let it die. Oh god. This might be actually worse than Ryan's. What the actual fuck? Oh hell no, I wouldn't want to clean this up. Especially by yourself. This is not a one person job. This is like at least 10 people. Uh, what's going on? Is there music playing in the background or something? <laughs> What happened? The chilling wail of what almost sounds like someone moaning can be heard in the bathroom. But Adi's friend claims that at the time he didn't hear the creepy moaning at all. He only discovered it later when reviewing his video footage. Oh, then out of nowhere creepy. something heavy violently slams into Adi's friend nearly knocking the camera out of his hand. He flees the residence and hasn't gone back since. So did yeah. he capture real paranormal activity on camera? Or just what was that noise? You decide. You can check out more of Adi's creepy videos and strange stories over on his YouTube channel, Obsolete Oddity. Shadows. Now if All you've right been then. watching this channel for a while, you might recognize Kent Burris from the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Kent claims that his house in Carmel, Maine is actively haunted and that he has been experiencing frequent paranormal activity from the day he moved into his home. Okay, there he is in the window again. Kent discovered what the fuck that his was house. That? that looks like a cat. Like it's shaped like an animal. Kent and discovered that his house was once owned by an undertaker and that the residence served as a funeral home from 1906 to 1919. I didn't even notice it at first. Say something. Still moving. Oh my god. No. Oh. <laughs> Kent believes that the home is haunted by multiple hey, ghosts kitty. and strange shadow figures from the house's tragic past. Now, over the years, we featured supernatural captures from the Ghosts of Carmel main YouTube channel that range from the strange to the downright terrifying. All right. And these two new occurrences may be some of the most disturbing captures yet. Kent is filming in his upstairs bedroom, casually panning around the room 
when he unknowingly captures something absolutely chilling. Did you see it? Oh, when slowed down, you can see what appears to be a dark figure staring at Kent from behind a wardrobe in the corner. Now, what's especially strange about this clip is that this particular wardrobe stands only an inch and a half away from the wall. No so way it would be absolutely impossible for someone to have been standing behind there. In another recent video, Kent is doing an EVP session in the house's basement when his night vision camera captures something truly bizarre. Is it in this area? Is it under the house? Or is it just the whole house? Whoa, what the hell was that? I didn't see it. Is it in this area? Is it under the house? Or is it just the whole house? Whoa, what the hell was that? A strange dark shape can be seen quickly darting into the basement's crawl space. Huh. Kent claims that he's seen these quick shadows move across his home before but has that found it almost impossible window. to capture them on camera. When he reviews his footage later, he is shocked to see what else he has captured. Before he set up his video equipment in the basement, he took about 30 photos of the area, all in the hopes of capturing something that couldn't be seen with the naked eye. One of the shocking pictures shows what looks like a strange oh! malformed face staring back at Kent from the same basement crawl space. Oh, hell no! So, what do you think? <laughs> Is Kent's home haunted by moles? That is like that ace staring back at Kent from. That is like transparent and freaky all at the same time. I don't like it, but that's cool. the same basement crawl space. That was a gold capture. So, what do you think? Is Kent's home haunted by multiple dark entities, or is something else going on in his home? You can check out all of the evidence that he has captured over the years over on his YouTube channel, Oof, so Ghosts much. of Carmel, Maine. Creepiness, I love it. Did you see it? Because I didn't. Now, I like to think I have a good eye for spotting the spooky and creepy crawly things hiding in the shadows of all the videos that we feature. But sometimes I just miss something. Luckily, some of you guys have an even sharper eye than me. So these oh, next videos so feature some very creepy things from previous videos that either need more explanation or I just didn't see it. <laughs> just last week, we followed the story of a TikTok user known as Joshua Luck, who claims that his home, along with the general store he runs from his house's first floor, is intensely haunted. Oh, we Joshua did, hey, that's kind of funny. We did just watch that one. The Strop family have been tormented by many terrifying paranormal occurrences. And in one of the videos recorded late at night downstairs in their general store, a creepy face appears right before the video cuts off. Now, this is where messages, emails, and comments came flooding in. Because many of you saw something really creepy that I didn't. Hey Newt, just a quick heads up. In your last video with the, the man who owns the convenience store in Mexico, uh, there's two times that the that ghost of the kid or whatever it is pops up actually in the convenience store hey nook my name is lugin barrera and i am ricky velasquez cousin <laughs> i want to point out that i don't know if you got to notice it but right here there's nothing there but then somebody peeks all right nook oh, so i shit. wanted to send this in this is on your most recent video number nine Hey Nuke, my husband and I are huge fans. Um, we were watching your video that you uploaded <laughs> today on November 2nd, 2020. Nuke, you forgot something. Look, 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 look. Bottom left hand side. A little girl pops out. Dress there, do you see it? Go on. See, disappears. Oh, shit. Up there. Right there. Yeah. Slowly disappears. I didn't see it. Joshua Luck and his family didn't see it. But you did. A face <laughs> that appears to be that of a young child can be seen not once, but twice, all the way at the front of the store, looking right at the family. Now, honestly, I'm a little shocked that I didn't notice this one. But thankfully, you guys did see it, and you let me know. So hey, a huge thanks you to you. But is it something paranormal? You decide. 
On August 24th, I featured the story of TikTok user Salea Ileana, who was hanging out in the attic with her friend when something absolutely terrifies them. Stop! No, I'm not even f***ing you. No, oh my god! Please, dude, mom! I can't. What if it's a raccoon? Why is she answering? She She's in there. I'm gonna be so mad. She's not in there. God! Those pe ear piercing screams. You know for a fact those are true screams by the way it sounds. I can't. I can't. It's mom. That made me so scared. Mom! It's like a horror She's movie. legit crying it's too. Like your mom. She was just messing with us for a long amount of time. You scared the out of me. Let's throw something at it. What? Oh did she just throw the laptop? This is. Did she just throw a laptop? What the hell did she throw? What? <laughs> oh, okay. No, no, no. It's a fucking. Uh, it's a binder. Oh my god! It's so weird. It's no, it's not. Why was it knocking? It was completely closed. Like I shut it. Like I. It closes with the lock. Slaya, I'm shaking. Mom! Mom! Now, this is where things get a little creepier, because many of you were quick to point out something else shows up in the video only moments after the door mysteriously swings open. Hey Nuke, so I uh, was watching your video and I've noticed that when the girl turns her camera around, there's a black figure that shoots right by. I think I found some Nukes then point out what? That's it. You see that you see a black thing that was just going by? An unexplained oh, dark shadow seems to pass right in front of the camera. Could this be the evil entity that many TikTok viewers believe is responsible for the strange occurrences in Solea's attic? Or is it something that can be more okay, easily cool explained? That you go back to see some now, at shit. first I thought it could simply be a finger accidentally sliding across the phone's camera lens. But the odd dark shape seems to grow in size before moving away to the right. You guys that spotted it, I didn't, and it's still unexplained. So what do you think? The Woodchester Mansion in Gloucestershire, England has long been believed to be violently haunted after it was mysteriously abandoned by frightened workers during its construction almost 150 years ago. Back on October 19th, we looked at the bizarre footage ghost hunter Mark Pritchard and his team captured as they were exploring the mysterious mansion. One of the group's investigators, Joanne, gets the scare of a lifetime inside the dark mansion. And it's all captured on camera. Do I? Do I? That just, that, that, that narrowly missed you, didn't it? Oh, that came from up there. That, that was. Oh, you're right. Yeah? That's frightened me. You're right. Joanne is nearly hit by what appears to be a heavy piece of roof tile or stone. But if that wasn't creepy enough, many of you spotted something very strange right after the terrifying event takes place. Okay, I didn't see it. So you missed it. something that'll be in the top, like right around there when they pan the camera. Looking in the something rafters, right there, just there. above them. You see it? And then it goes back so up. So take a close oh. look. And then again, when you go back, you can kind of see the thing. What the fuck? Right there. Oh, there it goes up. Just above the unsuspecting group, a strange shadow can be seen. Now, the reason I didn't point this out in the original video is that I believe that the shadow might be created by one of the other investigators' flashlights. However, yeah, be many case. viewers pointed the shadow out as possibly being something paranormal. So, as always, I will leave that up to you to decide. It could have been a shadow from one of them. Now, yeah. this next video by I the popular Mexican YouTube one. Urbex channel, Terror Alex Dreamo, was featured on August 24th, and I've gotten hundreds of questions and comments about it since. The Terror Alex Dreamo crew explored the abandoned Gonzalo... By the way, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, join the Discord. ...Castanado Hospital in Mexico City. During their exploration, they witness and capture some extremely creepy activity in the dark hallways and rooms of the hospital. 
In this part of the video, Lewis and cameraman Yanni are discussing the garbage and litter strewn around the abandoned room. And then, this happens. Okay. Is there a dark shadow behind him just now? Yep, I saw it. Some dark figure seems to pass a doorway behind one of the explorers twice yeah, I saw that. without him knowing. But... Uh... Uh, it kind of just looks like someone having a fucking black sheet on their back. Honestly, doesn't look that crazy. It's not all. Many of you have reached out to me about something that happens only moments earlier. Yo, nukes, you lacking, my boy. You ain't peeping. <laughs> you, you missed this part. So I was watching Nuke Top 5's newest video, and I realized that he missed something. My name is Jules. Thank you so much for the videos that you are uploading every week uh, shout out to the filipinos filipino fans of yours i just want to pin out uh, a clip i'm watching the video nook put up about three days ago and i think he missed something just watch it i think he may have missed something on this video look in the background after he paints the camera over here you can see someone walk by see that right right there did you see this nuke did you see this right now did you see this uh right there right there you see that it's unless both buildings are supposed to be uh uninhabited that makes sense but that looks like it's a building across the street or something so creepy man see a whole person you missed it bro see that whole shadow walking and you ain't even messing it Lacking, my boy, like I said. So, at least on this one, I can say that I definitely was not caught lacking. This video is 100% explainable, which is why I didn't point it out in my original video. Okay. You see, the abandoned Gonzalo Castanado Hospital is located right in the downtown streets of Mexico City. In fact, right across the street from the broken down hospital, there are buildings that are still being used as offices and Yeah, apartments. that's what I was thinking. That's, that's so easy to So I'm explain. thinking that someone across the way just happened to be walking around their office at the exact moment that the camera pans by the window. But having said that, I it's can't not, possibly spot the all the creepy building. crawly stuff hidden in all of the videos. So if you happen to catch something in a video that I didn't see, that one's point it out in a video response and send it to nukestop5 at gmail.com. Because I actually do love it when you guys find some little creepy something in a video that I missed. Well, anyways, that's the end of the video. Holy shit, that was good. Like, this one still has my skin crawling. The one with the fucking, uh, this right here. That right there. Oh my god, them, them eyes. Just just this to be the same figure he captured on see just that fuck that anyways burn it with fire uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video if you guys have any more suggestions or uh whatnot let me know down below in the comments of course also on my discord and i'll try to see them as soon as i possibly can i'm gonna do like one to two of these a week if possible i'm not gonna promise any more than that but um as of right now and, of course, if you have other reaction requests, by all means, just let me know. If outside of Nuke, outside of anything, like, you know me. If you're new, I also like animations and stuff like that. So, let me know down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, later! This is the Prince of the Motherfucking Saiyans! And I am ordering you to subscribe to Steven Z. Killer!